Hi there, it's Julie here from Little Woolly. Um, today I'm going to show you how to crochet this square. It's um, made in linen stitch and you begin in the middle and um, then do the next round layers as we go, each sort of band of colour as you go. Um, I've put this little video together to show you how to do it because it's quite a easy one to do once you've seen it. Possibly it might get confusing when it's written down, but hopefully not. So yeah, they're really cute and they are a beautiful way to showcase the speckled colours and um, especially if, like from Spun Right Round and Hedgehog Fibres and that things. This is all in 8-ply and they're Squish DK um, and Merino DK bases and this, the linen stitch really does showcase all those little pops of colour really nicely. So um, yeah, good luck. Hopefully you'll um, enjoy it and get making cracking on some really cute little squares. These aren't even blocked, so look how square they've stayed. They're really, it's nice and modern looking, I think. And you could have a really great play around with colour. They look great in solid colours too, I think, like each ring. Or you could also change each little part of the log cabin part. It's sort of similar to a log cabin type design. Um, in uh, patchwork if you're into that sort of thing too, even though it doesn't really look like it in here, but when you construct it, you'll be able to see that you could do something like that. Anyway, that's enough for me and um, let's get on with it and I'll show you how to make one. Thanks, bye. Okay, hi everyone. We're gonna start making this square um, now. Um, we're gonna start in the center and make a little linen stitch center square and then we're gonna build on it. So let's start doing that. First off, we have to do chain 13. Thirteen. Okay, now we're gonna work back into our chain row. In every second chain, we're gonna make a single crochet and then do a chain. So single crochet, chain, single crochet, chain, single crochet, chain, working into the chain row. It's a bit confusing, but it, it's not, when you do it, it's not that bad. So we're gonna start with the third chain from the hook. We're gonna pop the hook through, yarn up, make a single crochet. Oops, hang on, we split that one. That's not a good start, we'll just fix that up. There we go. Now do a chain, skip the next stitch, go into that one, make a single crochet, chain, So we're working to every second chain. Oh, there's another split in this. Hang on, wait a sec. Fix that up, smooth it out a bit. There you go. Through and through, nice. Chain. Next. And a chain. And there. And a chain. There. So this is the last stitch we make into, which was into our first chain. Um, so that's the chain row done. So you can see now we have a, bit, a little bit tricky to see, but we've got single crochets into every second chain with a chain gap in between them. Right, so that's the building block of our little square. So now we're gonna do two chain for the next side and turn around. We're gonna make our stitches now into these chain gaps along here, um, rather than into the top of the stitches. So it's single crochet into there, pull up. Now single crochet is also known as double crochet in English and Australian terms. Um, I'm, I had just learned in using American terminology, so that's what I, how I think of it. So single crochet into there and do a chain. So whenever you, doing these chains in between, you're creating the gaps for the next row. Okay, so we nearly finished this row. We're gonna go into the last, make a single crochet into the space beside the first stitch where the, we did the two chains up. So we wanna end our rows always on a single crochet. So you do 
two chain, you can see, because that will help keep our sides nice and neat and tidy and straight. You can actually see those stitches across there now, like one, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got six single crochets and then one, two, three, four, five, six um, gaps as well. So that's what we're looking for. So now we're gonna turn around and go back down the row. So we're gonna do this for 11 rows, make our little square. made my single crochet in the last um, two chain space that we have created at the start of the row so two more chains so it's going to create it at the end of this row so two chains up flip it around and away you go again back into the first space which is there next to the stitch see in this little see there that's where you want to go in between the stitches yeah this linen stitch is a beautiful um, stitch for showing off speckled yarns, hand dyed speckled yarns. And I think, um, yeah, it's gonna be really pretty. They're just like, they pop nicely in the single crochet stitches. That's it, that's another row done. Starting to look really cute. Do our two chains and turn around and go back again. That's a nice quick stitch too. Two chain up, turn around. So as long as you're hitting those um, end single crochets in those gaps, your edges will stay nice and straight. chain and twist looking pretty Stitching that round going in and there, that's easy to see. So now we're going to go to chain, turn it around. So, yeah, we're getting a nice little rectangle. We've done how many have we done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows. We need four more rows. It's a nice stitch. So it really looks pretty. Two more to go.
chain up, turn around, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We've done ten rows. We need one more. Last one. Around. Into there. Into there. Then a chain. Then a chain. Single crochet. And a chain. Then our last stitch will be in here, which we're going to leave the second loop um, ready to take the new colour. So I'll just get my next colour. So we've done the first two. Yes, there. I'm doing. I'll put that there for a minute. And here's our new colour. So it's a little square at the centre of our bigger square. So that's going to go, that's what we've just made there. And now we're going to build on that for these um, other bands of colour around here. So I'm going to grab, put the new colour on through the last pull yarn over is the new colour. Right. So now I'm going to do two chains. One, two. And we're going to work now down the side of the square. So we've been working crossways so far. Now we're going to work sideways down this side. We're going to pick up our stitches along here, um, doing the same thing we've been doing, single crochets and chains. So I'm going to pick, I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six stitches we want to have along this side bit. So we're going to go into there, pick your points along that so they're nice and even. One chain, a single crochet and a chain, and then we're going to go into there and a chain. So where the, I like to go just on one side of these little bars, see there, just so that it's nice and even. So I'm choosing on the top side just to keep it all the same. And a chain. Um, and our last one will go into here. Oops, coming up, coming up. Sorry, lost it. Where is it? There's new thread. There we go. Is that even enough? Maybe I'll make that a bit different. What have we got? One, two, three, four. I oh, know we can fit an extra one in. Sorry, wrong. I've got one more to go in there. That's right, that looks a bit better. And then the extra last, only the last one. Nice. Make the last one into there. So we should have six stitches. Do we have six? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, beautiful. Good, that worked. So now we're going to make a little block going backwards and forwards um, from these stitches for five rows. I think it's five rows. Yeah, five rows. So we're going to do two chain of the same thing, just working back and forward. Just getting your setup row, once you've got that done, it's pretty easy. And here's your first one back at your start. So we're going to go into there and make a stitch there, chain two up, and around we go. Nice. So now we're going to go down this side, another, do it again. Last one's going in here, like that, and then we do two chain up, across like that. So we've done three, picked up two, one, two, three, four, five rows. And here's the first one in the gaps. One, two. Next 
to chain and turn. Sorry about the focus going in and out on this. It seems my hands, the camera can't really keep up with the focus. Anyway, uh, I've got one more to go. No, we haven't. That was a far away from this. One. Righto, so this is the, that's the edge of that, that's the five rows done, so you can count them, one, two, three, four, five, and you can see on here, we have, well maybe I'll be able to see it better on this one, one, two, three, four, five, on this one as well, so you can see the colours, that's sort of what we're aiming for, this nice ring of colour. So it's our five um five colors five rows done on this now we're going to turn around and go turn it 90 degrees so you've got your piece this way turn it this way we're going to work across here now so we need to pick up um the stitches along this side in the same way we did in the first one the only difference is we'll be working going into the side of the work along here in this section in the blue section so one chain two Right, and then a chain, and then we're going to go and pick up the spaces on the actual bottom of the pink bit. One, two, three. So you're making these ones into the chain spaces. Three, four. Five. And your last one will be in that first bit there. Six. So we should have um eight stitches along here so we've got one two three four five six seven eight awesome we are on track so now we're going to make a little five rows of that one along here to get this side of the square done two i'm going to chain turn around and work back down here Let's see, get some more These whiz up pretty quickly once you've made a couple. Okay, so let's see if we can show you that. One, two, three, These tails out of the way. We're going in there. Hang on, I forgot to do a I forgot to do a chain there and a chain, and then we're going to go in that space there and in there. Yes, that's it. Like that, and then the last one is in here. Two chain up and around. So it's growing. Get the idea? See how it's building up? So you can imagine if you had lots of little scrappy pieces, you know, small amounts of yarn, you could be doing all these sides in different colours. So you could do this piece in a different colour and this piece, and you could get a very patchworky effect. Um, I'm just going to be doing them in rings of colour uh, at the moment, but doesn't mean. You can't have to play around with them and do whatever you like. The last one in here. There we go. So that's your last one there. Do your chain up. Two chains up. Turn around. If you can get in there. One, two, three. So we're making five rows of this one as well. So I think there's one more after this, and then we'll be on to the next side. Okay. 
Okay, and we're going to do two chains. And this will be our last row along here because we're going to, once we get to this end here, we're going to start working down this side. Flip it around again. Single crochet. two chains now we're going to move around and we're going to work on this side now so we've got our bottom side or well, we've got two sides down at the square now so we're going to pick up along here again it'll be the same amount as the one we just did I'm just some more wool. so this color I'm using now is a hedgehog fibers one which is called Danube I think and the pink was Dirty Taffy from Spun Right Round. I think they're looking quite pretty against each other. And then I think I'm going to use a bit of red as my outside one from a tulip one from Spun Right Round. Anyway, here we go. So we're going to pick up just in front of these little bars. So that little bar there. I like to pick up at that point because it's nice and even. Pick, put through there, make a stitch, chain in there, make a stitch, chain. And we're going to go in this one, make a stitch, chain, and we're going to find the same points. So how many are we supposed to have? Eight. So if we go, uh, we're going to end up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. So we want to go on this side here. All right. One, two, three. Can you see that? And then in this little hole here, four. And then chain. And then the last one we're going to make into that end bit of the chains of the stitches. So if it's out, we've picked up for this side now. So we've got two, four, six, eight stitches there, which we should have, which is good. And then we're going to do two chain up. And away we go, back in there. And now here's our gap there. And in this one, and now at the last bit, we're going to go into that corner space there. Two chain up, turn around. If you wanted to change colours for each side, all you do is when you do your pick up row here, to start using a new colour. Um, that's all you have to do. It's not, not tricky at all. So you can sort of see that linen stitch is really pretty. So we're just going in these gaps between the stitches, the chain gaps we're making. There's your last one in the corner. Chain 
up to and turn around. So this will be our last row heading back this direction. Once we get up here, it'll be time to do pick up for down this side, down the last side, down the, and complete the square. Right, so last stitch, two chains, and we're gonna flip it, turn it around. So we're working across this, this side now. So this takes us back to being at the top of, this, of our center square, and um, we're gonna pick up um, across here now too. So let's see how many stitches we have. I'm gonna pick up. So we're gonna do one in here, one chain. Two chains, and we've got gaps here. Three, four, five, maybe a bit more. spot in here to go down the side maybe there oh. well, it's a bit squiddy hang up we're gonna get, get that smoothed out so on this side here we want to go in there that's it ten chain oh, so maybe I didn't do a chain in between there oh I didn't that's it Oh, sorry, I'll do that again. That's the chain. Now we should chain and stitch there, then chain and our last stitch in the edge. So that gave us 11, I think, pretty much. That's 11. Let me just see. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, that's what, and that's what I got last night when I did my other one too. So we've got 11 there. Needs to be square them out a tiny bit more. It'll all stretch into shape once you get you know lots of squares done too. They're pretty flat and quite square, but um, yeah, they will even out a bit even further um, as you go. So now we're just going to make five rows across the top here, and that will be the first ring done. And all you have to do then is complete, keep going around. You can make them as big as you like these squares. You could add a lot more rounds on them. I just stopped after two uh, because, um, yeah, I thought that would be enough for what I wanted. But you could actually just keep going and make a, like a, like a granny square blanket, but doing a log cabin blanket sort of thing. Keep it going, just keep growing, adding rings to each side as you go. Pretty fun. Here we go, so that's our first couple of rows done on this side. So you can start seeing it's starting to look pretty good. It's gonna be good there. Yeah, I think that is looking really good. So we need to do um, two more rows, three more rows, three rows here. One.
Oops. Drop that stitch. Go back in there. Two. Turn. Into the gap. So that's the basic premise of this square. We're just doing linen stitch around around um, a centre square and it gives you a nice flat square. You don't have ridges at the corners like you do when you do them centre out just working in the round, um, which I kind of like. And I also like the potential for colour play that you can change the sides and um, have a bit of fun with that too. Okay, so we need to do one more, I think now. One, two, three, four, yes, our last side. So this is the last side of blue. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more row, on the, one last row of blue, I mean, not side. Okay, and then that will be completed. use up a lot of wool either. Like I've still got some left in this little ball. It was only a little scrap to start with. And you've got to go in between the stitches, yeah? In those chain spaces. one is the last little one there okay so that is um, our center to um, square so see now you can add an extra ring to make it bigger again and you could add extra more again like you just keep going so now that you've got to this point you'd swap put your new color on and pick up along here do your little block of colour here, then pick up along this side, just keep going. Um, and hopefully that makes sense. It's, sorry about the um, quality of my video, it's pretty poor, I know, but I'm, trying, I'm just starting out at this, I don't know really what I'm doing. <laughs> so yeah, that's our um, little log cabin linen stitch square for crochet. Uh, I think it's pretty cute and I will be putting more things up on Insta when I get some more squares done. You can see how they're all turning out. Okay, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And I'm going to put this on my YouTube channel. So um, if you'd like to subscribe to that, that would be awesome. And give me a like as well. That's what I always see people say. <laughs> thanks very much. Um, yeah, happy crocheting. Oh, oh, one more thing. I did use a four... 0.5 hook for this one this is eight ply so i feel like you could go up to a five mil if you were a tight crocheter um i'm reasonably tight but i actually quite like a firmer blanket so i do like to leave mine on the slightly firmer side but like they're quite floppy they're just personal choice anyway thanks so much see you later bye